Hi. I just want to check that what is the current situation with our GD uh, plus four chamber heater wattage, because uh, Noisy Works made a video about it a good while ago that showed that the the software update decreased the wattage of the heater in a in a 220 volt grid and he changed it back manually to around 400 watts the software version 1.6.0 noisy works also pointed out that configuration printer cfg the temperature protection sensor it's 140 degrees so this is unnecessarily big so we will change this to 80 degrees celsius just to be safe save and restart okay so first let's start up heating the bed to 80 degrees now we can see that the bed is using a bit more than 400 watts it was about 33 before this so 420 watts about so now overall we are at 450 then we start the chamber heater at 60 degrees and we are still at 450 watts and if we watch the temperatures the heater bed is going up but the chamber isn't so it's waiting for the bed to heat up first so we'll have to wait for that okay so now the bed is at 80 degrees and the wattage it varies quite a bit but it's around 130 to 150 watts then we set the chamber temperature to 60 degrees and then we watch the wattage so the total consumption is now 400 to 420 watts so overall the chamber heater works at around 280 watts it's not that much for a 400 watt heater so we will change the power a bit by going to the configuration printer cfg line 273 heater generic chamber maximum power 0.4 and let's first change it to 0.5 save and restart and we'll put back the values start with the heater bed 80 degrees power intake 130 then we'll put the chamber heater at 60 and there we go now we get ha huh, mcu shut down adc out of range protection sensor so it seems that 80 degrees is not enough for the protection sensor so let's increase that value by going to configuration printer config thermal protection sensor let's put 100 in there save and restart now let's try the same again 80 degrees on the bed 60 degrees in the chamber and actually now we can see the total wattage intake 640 650 but this is when the bed is heating up as well so we'll have to wait for it to stable so now the heater bed is at a stable 80 degrees chamber is at 55 and trying to reach up to 60. total wattage around 540 then let's turn off the chamber heater and from 540 we get down to 140 130 so that's exactly 400 watts so a value of 0 0.5 works well in the latest firmware as of march the 3rd 2025 actually let's check the voltage where we are at so we are at 240 volts so this might make the difference noisy works was talking about the 220 volt grid and since i do have a higher voltage in finland it makes sense that less of it needs to go to the heater 
One thing though, the protection sensor got really close to 100 degrees, so having the limit at 100 doesn't seem necessarily since it's originally 140. And I would like to give some credit to GD for this, that they know something about what they're doing. I know they've made a lot of mistakes, but still I'm not going to go through all the settings and try to decide myself what would be the best value. Printer config protection sensor will put 110 in there. That seems reasonable. It's quite a bit lower than the original, but still shouldn't be a problem when heating up the chamber. Save and restart. So there we go. By increasing the power to 0 0.5, we got the 400 watts that we wanted from the heater. So one size does not fit all. I haven't checked the grid voltages around Europe, but it seems that some of them are 220, some 240, and possibly some are 230. So it is a good idea to check the wattage when you make changes to the heater power. For me it was 0 0.5 and not the 0 0.6 that Noisyworks recommended. So here we go. Be careful when changing these values. Have fun.